Hi, good morning. It is Linda Fussell here on Friday the 24th of April, um, but looking at the last two days, so the 22nd, 23rd, so yesterday would have been the 31st day in lockdown, so effectively a whole full long month if we have long months. And um, what an interesting, interesting time we've had. I think I reported earlier in the week that I was feeling strong and on top of the world and things were good, but as ever it goes up and down. But generally, uh, yeah, the feeling is still relatively good. Um, lots going on, some amazing, absolutely amazing conversations. And I think that's probably where I'm going to talk about mostly today, is the connections and the joy that those connections bring and the I want to say opportunities, not in a, um, a what's in it for me type aspect, but the opportunities of um, doing things differently, creating magic, um, just sort of making things, making things happen, making things real, making things better, making things more fun, um, just generally, uh, yeah just connecting and you know get Britain talking is the big thing is that we really do need to keep talking we might be physically distanced from each other but the social connection can still happen and still needs to happen uh, there's a lot on the TV I don't watch a lot of TV but when I am watching there's um, a big push on the the mental health issues of, of talking and spending time together and I certainly have done that. Um, on Wednesday, I had two online Zoom chats with people that I used to see a lot at networking events um, in, in town, at various events. And it was just really nice to chat to them, uh, to catch up, just to see how they're doing, what's happening, where their businesses are, um, how they are in their lives what they're experiencing and all those good things and it was great it was just so lovely catching up um, I then had um, a client a client call I've had a couple of client calls actually but one of the client calls in particular was interesting um, also I mean as ever feeling feeling up and down feeling where things are different this lass is a contractor with one of the big banks one of the big four big five banks whatever they are and got a notification the previous week that they were changing their um, them down to three day weeks from the middle of May she was quite thrown by that um, you know financially it's not brilliant but they still all have uh, work and they still want to be there you know the, the company wants them to stay there as contractors they're just moving some of their change pro or all their change programs that aren't related to the actual banking stuff, you know, the day-to-day -day things now. You'd think all those things would be, but anyway, they're moving those all out um, by 12 months, and so they're just slowing some things down. And that raised a couple of interesting things, actually, because from her perspective, on our previous call, she was saying how much she was saving, and I've heard this from a few people, where the costs, uh, and there was actually a... a um, I say a joke thing, you know, a thing that came out on one of the social media platforms where uh, it was expenditure on clothing, zero, expenditure on um, food and drink, zero, expenditure on entertainment, zero, expenditure on this, zero, uh, expenditure on food, um, two and a half thousand pounds. Uh, and it was um, how everything is now just about uh, food and not all the, the other things because there's nothing else there. To, to spend it on so you kind of um, things are different and a lot of people are saving and that is um, that's good news it's it's showing us what we can live without what we need what we don't need and how we can actually do things differently so that's good so from her point of view she was going oh the income's going to come down so then have to look at it. and I said well before you jump into things just assess um, really where you are um, what things you no, don't just cut everything out have a look and see where things are and what is happening her her husband is still working full-time and uh, you know this starts from middle of May and I think they said for three months so it's not it's not always the end of the world they've they've had a good run where they've been saving um, 
there's you know the continual savings that continue you know will go on but also there's all sorts of things at the moment where you can um defer payments on mortgages and things you know etc and uh, martin lewis last night was talking about um if you're going to defer any payments then do it on your mortgage because it's over a longer term and generally at a lower rate because the interest will still be um, accumulating but if you need to do it on the other things do and so just do what you need to do so I, I was recommending that she just had a look at that but then you come to the flip side and the banks now doing this with their contract employees and I get it sort of um, they don't have everyone's deferring payments in from loans credit cards mortgages you know all those kind of things all, all those sources of income to the bank are now stopping um, but then again the banks make a shitload of money there's no second prize for that they make a lot of money year on year they post uh, outrageous profits um, and you know generate loads of money then it, it's time now that the banks step up and put some money back into the system they are the ones that are really making life you know they're the gatekeepers for the these business interruption loans and they certainly aren't making life easy on those um, you know, it's taken me a month I mentioned this early in the week it's taken me a month to even find access to the, to the application process actually application form just nonsense anyway that's no no renting on that um, so that was that. Uh, a couple of other things. I had some calls with potential new clients, which is great, and they've all gone well, and you know things are moving there. Um, but also had a, a wonderful chat with somebody who's involved with tech companies, um, innovative tech companies, and what a fantastic world. You know, I've spent um, I don't know five plus years in the innovation industry and supporting innovation programs absolutely love that world love the way things move love helping um, get creative ideas from the people that are inspired and involved in things to the people that make the decisions and then to the people that can create what's needed to make it happen and then to the those that implement it and, and putting it all together that's very inspiring i'm gonna sneeze Oh, excuse me. I don't know what that's about. Um, so that was, uh, it was really, it was a fascinating call. Um, and just looking at how we can get involved and support that. Um, there's, there's a few of us that previously we used to work together that uh, have a load of skills and expertise and experience in this arena that can help uh, marry these great ideas that are now popping up. Um, with the organizations that have the resources to make it happen and then making it it a reality in the world so that was you know that was all all good all good fun and very very inspiring um, how how those people that aren't stuck are really looking at how can we use existing technology existing knowledge skills resources and do things differently and that was from a high tech industry. But then I also saw this morning, um, I think it was on Twitter that I saw it, that uh, a local a local group here are making um, scrubs. They're called, I think they're called the Harrogate Scrubbers. They're making scrubs for the hospital, the local hospital here. So there's a group of, I'm gonna say women, I'm assuming they're all women, they're probably not all women, a group of people who um, are sewing literally sewing up um scrubs for the hospital so you know making equipment um locally and we've got a local company that's making the um, plastic visors and you know there's there's some fantastic things that are going on so it's it's lifting yourself up knowing seeing what you can do and what you're good at doing or what you enjoy doing or what skills you can learn and then seeing how you can utilize that and add value to people that really need it and where you can I want to say support the cause but work with others and there are people everywhere that need help whether it's um, just to have a chat whether it's to create something by sewing whether it's collecting food and delivering it whether it's making meals for elderly people that you know are struggling whatever the, the situation is there are so many things that can be done right down to having a call 
um, you know, make, uh, having a conversation, make that call, just um, make it happen, talk to people. So one of the other things that's been happening in the last few days is um, I mentioned doing the family uh, Zoom call where we pulled everyone together, which was great, and having guests from the family history group, local family history group there. Anyway, they're looking at how they can um, progress this and get their family history group on a Zoom call where they now meet virtually instead of uh, in person going forward. And this is now snowballing into different groups within the local family, uh, local U3A. And I sent out an email just, just before I came online here about should this not be something that's um, potentially coordinated from the U3A at the top level and then um, rolled down through, uh, you know, a given access to all, all U3A groups um, across, I don't say across the country, but uh, at least across the district or whatever. So there's all sorts of things there about connecting and being connected. So those are all, all great. And then, uh, of course, it, today's Friday morning, so last night was, uh, yesterday afternoon, was our um, weekly book club get-together. And it is it is just lovely. It is so lovely to just have that time to chat as a group. Um, we're all enjoying it. We really are all enjoying it. Um, you know, some people are not really seeing other people at all during this time. Some are still struggling. But it's just nice to have a chat and see who's doing what and where things are. And then we had our quiz. And that, I mean, I'm not so good at quizzes, but it was all it was all good. And the one less is making the quizzes. They're just 16 simple, I say simple questions, uh, 16 questions about, at the moment, books, various things around books. And it was lovely. So that was brilliant. Um, I've been connecting, obviously, with other friends and just having chats and, and seeing how things are going and uh, with my daughters and, you know, just lots of lots of people having conversations and I think it's that's the big takeaway is uh, keep talking keep talking have the conversations you'll feel better the people you're talking to feel better and it's just about checking in and actually communicating because we can all we can all do this um, so yes uh, and and people inspire you with different things um, I had a chat this morning uh, early with somebody I've not I've not seen for about five years and she's a wonderful, a wonderful lass um, and she's had a couple of interesting things happen in her time but she's also got a whole lot of exciting things happening so it was really good to to connect with her and, and know that we're going to do it again. We, we've set up another date for a month's time and we'll chat in between if something else comes up but that was... Um, it was it was fun. It was it was really it was just lovely to connect and see where she was and she um, gave me some inspiration for things. I hope I gave her some inspiration for some things. You just don't uh, you know that's what conversations are about. They just give you a different perspective from what's going on in in this little mind of yours. Um, and we all have a hundred little little. Uh, conversations going on in there all the time but it's what which ones do we want to listen to and how do we want to make things happen so those are the conversations really um, and inspiration um, I've certainly got uh, lots of inspiration from various sources in the last couple of days and I've also um, found where another leak is so this is an interesting thing uh, water leaks Water leaks are about energy leaking from a feng shui point of view. Water leaks are about energy leaking and energy, money is energy. And, you know, there's all emotions are energy. Um, so that's interesting that uh, there's a lot going on in my world at the moment. Things that I've been aware of, um, things that I need to do something about. So this one, I think, is a big one. And it's, I was thinking about it this morning, it's so... I say this all the time and it's something we experience through through life the universe gives us little nudges about things that need to change or things that we need to look at and we can avoid them as much as we like and we get another one get another one get another one and then suddenly the universe comes along and gives us a whopping great smack I think this is a case I think I've had a few nudges on this um, things I've been sort of working on but not maybe not as focused as I needed to be or could be or should be and I think I'm in for a big 
a whopping great big kick in the butt um, because the thing that now has uh, needing working on is my boiler and it's not 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 the boiler itself but the actual tank I've got I've got a head you know, a tank a header tank um, and I think it's it's a big job um, big decisions need to be taken on this because I've got hot water solar panels and you know, all things linked into a whole lot of stuff and it's uh, do we take do we take the leap now and move from gas boiler into electric because we've got electric solar panels um, we generate our own electricity I obviously generate my own hot water do we move from that and that means repiping the whole house um, and various other things and it's just like well oh man that just sounds like a massive big job I would love to do it I would love to do it um, time and funding are the challenges on that but uh, maybe this is the start of things that have to be done so we'll see I think I'm in for some interesting things so my my plan for the next couple of days um, I'm about to head out and do a walk early today because poor Larabelle went out much later yesterday than she should have done because I was busy busy doing things meetings um, I have a little plan of swim lanes this is my new version now swim lanes of what needs to be done different color codes of dots of things that have to happen and there are four on there that I intend to do today and there are four on there that I intend to do tomorrow and the others I would like to look at by the end of the weekend if possible or at least make a start on some of them if not all of them and get some things done um, I'm very good at starting things now it's making things just getting them out the, out the door finishing them off and getting them out and when I have done these bits on this list I know other things will come in that's all good um, I'm going to take the time out that I talked about probably two weeks ago and just take a couple of days to do some energy work in the house do some clearing sorting moving yeah, right down to cleaning windows because we haven't, like, I haven't cleaned the windows for a while and they're just like grim get some new energy flowing get some movement and obviously get someone to look at the boiler and see what needs what needs to be done there because I think that's going to be that's going to be a difficult job that um, I don't know if that's something insurance covers probably not not when you want to yeah do bigger jobs I don't know we have to see so that's um, that's where I am this is uh, day 31 of lockdown so 31 days at home and here we are going done lots got lots more to do uh, lots of things I haven't done that I wanted to do um, starting to settle into the routine we've um, I think definitely got another probably two weeks of lockdown um, but there are now noises of so what next how does how do we start moving out of this um, it's not going to be a straight yeah right everybody back to how it was before because that won't ever nothing will look the same everything will look different but it's what does the future look like and with the innovation type work it's really exciting to see new moves and how things could look and how things might look when we we eventually leave leave our homes you know the stay home has been um it's been it's been interesting it's been um yeah, it's been interesting. I think that's what it is. It's been interesting, but um, we'll see where things go and how things are moving. I do feel like I am, um, I mean, talk about transformation. This last call that I was on this morning was definitely, um, both of us are transformational coaches and it was, yeah, looking at um, where we are and what we're doing. Lots of, lots of hard work uh, for us. Um, in fact, sorry, just before I go, there was one other thing, um, a couple of other things actually, looking at the skies. Uh, this week has had um, the Stargate uh, satellites going over and lots of people have seen them, good, bad or indifferent. Uh, it's all about connecting, you know, making better Wi-Fi. Will it mess up what we see in the skies? As, as humans, we mess up lots of things. Who knows? Um, Connectivity is important. Is a different way of doing it? Anyway, it does, I'm not here to debate that. Um, I didn't get to see them at all, which was unfortunate. And it's also been the Lyrids um, meteor shower, which uh, have been early in the morning, so I haven't been up the early hours to see those, so I've missed those, but they've been around. But whether you see them or whether you don't, 
the energy is there and so this energy of um, yeah shake up and sparking and things is definitely in the air the other thing that's happening is tomorrow on the 25th um, Pluto turns retrograde there's a whole big story in this um, I follow Tanya Gabriel I trained with Tanya Gabriel uh, and, and a few other people that I, I follow as well but there's a lot of um, discussion about this time now when Pluto goes retrograde and um, the 25th is an interesting one because it's two and five is seven and seven is the top of the seven is heavens and heavens connecting to the earth and it's sort of that lightning bolt um, it's very much a time Pluto is all about um, the name Pluto comes from I want to say that the god of the under under underworld so it's all about um, going within looking at what's happening inside and you know we've had this time now where we've had a lot of time to reflect and I think the next um, I think Pluto's retrograde for four or five months so the next few months going to be a lot of internal um, work that we'll be doing so we've kind of had the start on it and we're definitely moving into it and this week now while Pluto stationing direct is actually a really pivotal moment for us all I certainly have felt felt that um, energy around so it's um, this is we're heading into a time of reflecting internally. Pluto's um, strong; it bursts. I mean, literally breaks away the old. It doesn't mean that it um, is uh, destructive. Uh, it can break down old structures that aren't necessary. So it's not that it's uh, warlike and absolutely destroying everything. It is destroying what's needed. It's removing removing what's needed. I think that's what it is: removing what's needed. What's not sorry? What's not needed? Removing definitely what's not needed. What we think we need that we don't need, and just clearing that out. And I'm certainly seeing that um, with the, the water leaks. And you really have to move some stuff around. So um, that's that's where we are energetically, numerology, numerologically. Um, uh, glo glorious, glorious, blue sky, sunshine day again. Um, I have been sharing pictures on. Um, messages coming in there have been sharing pictures on uh, Instagram and Twitter and on my Facebook page um, and hopefully you're you know able to enjoy some of those and I hope that you're finding some value from from the videos and the blogs because it's uh, it is about me sharing where I am but it's also about um, helping um, other people see that we're all going through things in our own way in our own time and that it's okay and these are some of the things that we can do and I think today's message is uh, connect talk to people spend time talking to people you know the zoom accounts you can set up a zoom account it's free um, you can talk for 40 minutes so that's brilliant there are loads of um, online courses um, available at the minute I believe Kindle's got um, a deal on uh, which I need to have a look at uh, Kindle's also got a deal on at the moment which is great because that, um, you know, that really, it uh, enables you to read things at any, you know, any place, any time. Not that we're traveling anyway, so you can read hardcover books or, you know, hard, you know, physical books. But it gives you the flexibility to pick up things and just get inspired, inspired about something different. So that's it for today. Um, keep moving. Uh, keep being inspired, keep um, getting sunlight on your face, eating well, sleeping well and uh, being kind to yourself but keep talking, um, definitely keep talking to people and have that connections, uh, help each other, do what you need to do. Um, it's been great to touch base with you this morning and I'm now heading out for a walk and I shall see you maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, um, we'll see. Uh, have a good, have a good Friday and a good weekend. Okay, see you soon.